So LU decomposition is one of the most famous matrix recognition techniques uh, where L stands for lower triangular and U stands for upper triangular decomposition. So uh, it gives you an idea ki what are the two matrices and the original matrix that decomposed. So it got there. So the original matrix that decomposed into two matrices. One is of type lower triangular, another is a upper triangular. So uh, if you want to know what is upper triangular or lower triangular matrix, you can see in this particular image. So in case of a lower triangular image, you can see that only the lower triangular values are filled, else everything is zero in the upper triangular. Similarly, for an upper triangular matrix, you can see that all the values above the diagonal are non-zero, else any, everything below the diagonal of the matrix is zero. That is an upper triangular matrix. So how we come, how are we able to implement LU decomposition of over a given matrix using Gaussian elimination or also called as row reduction. So what is Gaussian elimination slash row reduction? So basically it aims as converting a matrix into upper triangular matrix by applying linear row operations like row two equals to row two minus three into row three, row one equals to row one plus row two divided by five. So basically you are able to understand that we are trying to apply some linear transformation over some other row and subtracting or adding it to the different row. So in this way, uh, we are converting a given matrix into a upper triangular matrix by applying, multi uh, applying multiple linear transformations. So we will now see one of the examples how a particular matrix can be uh, LU decomposed. So assume that we have got this particular matrix A equals to 312 We'll be now initializing two matrices. One is L, that is an identity matrix. So if you don't know, identity matrix has every value zero except diagonal. So diagonal has values one, as you can see here. And U equals a copy of the actual matrix that we wish to decompose. So as A was this, so, so U equals to the actual matrix. Now we will try to convert U into an upper triangular matrix using Gaussian elimination. As I told you, we will use a combination of linear transformations to convert this U into an upper triangular matrix as you can see that it is not upper triangular matrix right now as the values below the diagonal are not zero. So basically we wish to convert 6, 3 and 1 as you can see here to zero. Then it will become a upper triangular matrix. So the operation that we will be performing are row 2 equals to row 2 minus 2 into row 1. So as you can see that row 2 is 6, 3, 4. Once I am subtracting minus 2 into row 1, what we would be getting? 2 into 3 becomes 6. Hence, if I am subtracting 2 into row 1, this particular value becomes zero, right? Eventually, when we are doing two, uh, when we are subtracting the whole row, this value becomes one, and this particular value also becomes zero. Now, uh, once we are performing this first operation, the multiplier used with the other row is two. So, and which value we are trying to convert to? Uh, which particular value we are uh, using this multiplier to convert to zero? That is u two one second row first column right so eventually l21 becomes equals to 2 this is the logic so eventually we will be converting u into a upper triangular matrix and whatever multiplier that we are using for a particular position on that particular position will be apply we will be use we will be placing that multiplier in the l matrix also now similarly row 3 equals to row 3 minus 1 into row 1 so as you can see that uh, for converting this particular as i told you that to convert u into a upper triangular matrix we need to convert three values into zero this one this one and this one so the first by the first transformation we have converted six into a zero the second transformation will convert three into a zero so it is nothing but a row three minus row one because the values are same so the multiplier uses one now do remember that we are just not applying the transformation of a particular value but on the whole row so this value becomes zero but other values values will also change right so the multiplier uses 1 to convert u31 equals to 0, hence l31 equals to 1. So after two operations, we have got this l equals to l002101101, u equals to 312010003. You got my point because we have applied two operations on uh, one on uh, row 2, other on row 3. Similarly, the two, multi the two multipliers that we have used is 2, which is placed here, and the 1, which is placed here. Now, remaining this particular point but it is actually already zero if that is the case then the multiplier that we would be using for any transformation would be zero right you can multiply it with anything it will become a zero only so in that case this value remains zero only so now 
all the three values in our upper triangular matrix has become zero. So eventually the transformation LU decomposition has been done and the actual matrix has been decomposed into two matrices L equals to 100, 210, 101, U equals to 312, 0, 0, 003. If this particularly won't have become a zero, why this value has become a zero? If I have, uh, because I have performed this operation, row three equals to row three minus one into row one. So this value also became zero. This value also became zero automatically because the second element was one. It is it is by chance. It is not intentionally. So uh, if there were having some other uh, values such as two, for example, this value won't have become a zero after the second operation. And we need to again perform a third operation to convert this particular value also a zero. Right. So in this way, we are able to do a LU decomposition. If you try to multiply L into U and using matrix multiplication, you will be able to get your actual A. You can try that out. Uh, you, it will be successful.